What is up guys, it is Emily Fowler in Berlin. And here is our van tour. So I recently traded in my uh, 2007 Edge that I had had for 10 years for a uh, Transit Connect van. Uh, it just made sense since I do a lot of travel with my dogs and it has a lot of room and it gets decent gas mileage. So I'm just going to slowly customize it, but I thought you guys would like to see the inside right now when I'm first starting. Really guys, <laughs> they're getting all tangled up, but uh, yeah, I'm going to slowly customize it. And um, I'll try to show you guys progress as I go along. Some things may be little progress, and other times maybe something big. All right, guys. So I thought I'd start here in the front. You know, just basic car right here in the front. You know, I have cruise control, so that's that's important. But I mean, otherwise, I mean, it looks almost like a normal car. I mean, the console, like I really don't have a console. It's more just like storage. But it works. And I like to hang leashes over there. And then here's the view kind of from the, the front seats into the back with the two kennels for Fowler and Berlin. And I'll take you guys back there in a second. So as you can tell, I mean, it's not too much, but it is a little bit more room than what I did have in my edge, so I'm happy for that. But I am gonna slowly customize this to kind of make it my own. But yeah, so hope you guys stick around and you can slowly see some progress updates on that. All right, so this is the back area. So right here we have the kennels. They're just large uh, ruffling kennels. I like them just because I've heard good experiences with them when people get into car crashes and all that. So I like to have my dogs protected. And then for right now, until I get uh, something better, I just have this little net thing. Kind of was holding some random stuff. It works for now until I can find something I actually like really like right there. I've been trying to find different like storage things that usually put on the back of seats. Um, but none of them really are what I want. So right now I'm just kind of using this just to hold like miscellaneous stuff like the different types of frisbees we have, um, a dog first aid kit, a pail for water, just various other things. And then I usually keep this fan in here. Um, I usually just keep, usually have it to keep the dogs cool when we're at different dog events like this past, uh, Wednesday we went to uh, Toss and Fetch and so whenever I leave Berlin in the car I put the fan on her and have both doors open to get some airflow in here. Um, we have a emergency kit thing right there. Uh, the, a little visor to keep the sun off of the car on the windshield. Well, it's not much but I mean it's gonna slowly turn into more I think just I just need to customize it that's gonna be a slow process but yeah I mean once again here's just the front nothing nothing too special just you know kind of like a normal car but instead it's a van right burper yeah the one thing I miss is that I don't have anything to adjust my mirrors right here and so I do have to like adjust my mirrors manually which does get annoying but I will take that over having uh, Bluetooth uh, some the Bluetooth can <laughs> Berlin hi hi I know I know the Bluetooth connectivity hi I know 
I know. I know. We're not going bye bye though. No, we're not. We're not. <laughs> All right. Over. Get over. Thank you. Yeah, I do like having my Bluetooth uh, stuff over having motorized mirrors and stuff that you can adjust like from the inside of the car. Just because I went about 10 years having to have an aux cord plugged in to my phone to charge everything. And then as phones got newer, I had to get that weird little expensive attachment to so I could both charge and listen to music. So, yeah, I'll take being able to listen to my music Bluetooth over having some motorized mirrors. What do you think, Barbara? What do you think? Here we go inside. <gasps> yeah. But yeah, you guys are just along for the journey as I make this van more mine. And just customize it in all little ways and make it more of a dog van, right? Yeah. Good girl, bro. So I hope you guys stick along for the ride. Um, I'm going to try to be posting more. I know I have gotten really out of whack, out of schedule with that. Um, I would love it if you guys could please uh, like and subscribe. Um, you guys can comment down below any video ideas you have. And yeah, I'm just going to try to post content more consistently soon. So, right, Berber? Right. I know. What are you doing? You like it? I know. You're ready to get out. Okay. <laughs> Good girl. I think it was kind of just a uh, welcome change to go from uh, my 2007 Edge that kind of, it was just like, I mean it was reliable for the most part, but it was, it was like I wouldn't trust it on like my long drives that I have to do for uh, my work that I do with my dogs. I mean it lasted good, but it was just like you always had that like, oh my god it's a 10 year old car, it might break down or something, so I was happy to get a new car that I really don't have to worry about that and has a lot less miles on it so yeah but I did love having my Edge as my first car and it served me well up until I traded it in for this thing so right Berber yeah Berlin probably had the least amount of time in the Edge uh, compared to Fowler Fowler rode around with me in that for the last the last five years I've had him, so he's been used to that. So he's been adjusting a little bit. He doesn't know what to think about riding in the kennel and actually looking at me, so we're still working on that. But he is enjoying it, though. And what do you think, Berber? You like it? Yeah. You ready to go inside? Yeah. Are you done? Okay, let's go. Okay, right, come on, Berber. But I kind of like it uh, more for the dogs just because it is easier for them to get in and out. Um, and in my other car, they were having to jump in or I'd have to lift them in. And with this, they just have to, you know, walk up there and then go into their kennel, which is nice. Or if we're just at like an event, they can just sit right here with me. All right, Berber. Berlin, come here. Come here. You go load up. Come on, go load up. I think in the long run, I just think it's going to be easier on their joints, especially since they don't have to do all that jumping to get in. Yep. Is that your kennel? Yeah. Is that your kennel? Yeah. Alright, you ready to get out? Alright, out. Good girl. And now that I pulled it out of the garage, here's a slightly better look at the inside with some more natural light. It was frankly just way too hot to do the whole thing uh, outside today. But yeah. And here's a better look at the front too as well. And then my favorite part is that I really haven't even driven it that much. And the front is already covered in bugs. Easter Fowler, what are you doing? You want to get up here? Come on, dude. There you go. Nice job. You want to get up here, too? What are you doing? Huh? I love you. Oh, yeah. Stretch. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. Hey, Berlin. Hey, Berlin. Hey. What do you think? Are you a dork? 
Yeah. <laughs> Alright, hey, can you sit? <laughs> you miss sassy pants? Okay, come here. <laughs> Gosh. I know. Are you a dork? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Calm down. Go get a toy. Where's the toy? Where's the toy? Go get a toy. There you go. Nice job. You give. Ready? Go get it. Nice job. Nice job. Yes. Yes. You give. Good girl. Sit. Are you shy? Okay. Go get it. Nice job, pretty girl. Yes. Get your luma bone? Yeah. You like your luma bone? But you only seem to like that one side of it. <laughs> That's okay, though. You give? <gasps> Good job. Okay. I think one of the favorite parts of my new van, car, whatever you want to call it, is the key. It's like that switchblade key type thing. So it's kind of cool just because I've had a normal key for the last little bit, but I think it's cool. But it's not <laughs> too uh, left-handed friendly since I am left-handed. That does get annoying if I don't have it in my right hand, but it's what it is. Just gotta hold it like this then. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I am going to try posting uh, more consistently now. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly I am doing with my content. But uh, please stick around. Thanks, thanks guys.